What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today I have a comparison of two American Airlines Boeing 777-200 ERs by Gemini Jets for you guys today. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys would consider liking the video if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and turning on the notification bell, I'd be very appreciative of that so you don't miss out on any content to come to the channel. Like I said, we have uh, the comparison of the 2013 America 777 200 ER by Gemini Jets in the recently released 2020 version uh, in the 1 to 400 scale, of course. So we'll begin. If you guys are unaware and haven't seen some of the first episodes, uh, how I compare these models is I have a 10 category um, five point system, which I'll put the topics on the screen, but pretty much it's a one through five score, five being the best, one being the worst. And uh, yeah, just add up like that uh, due to the factors of the aircraft. So we will get into this comparison. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's do this. Let's begin with the nose segment of these two Boeing 777-ERs. Um, once again, 2013 on the left, 2020 on the right. So as you can tell, we have two Boeing 777s here. Um, both of them released. I'll give my initial thoughts. Um, very interesting models for sure. Um, this one on the left I've had since 2013. I pre-ordered it, I believe it was November. Man, November 2013. Seven years ago, roughly now, which is crazy by the time this is coming out. Pre way pre-recorded. And then on the right side, we have the 2020, which I recently just got. So, nice refresher. It's been seven years. Uh, these are the only two generic uh, 777 200 yards from American that have ever been released. So, yeah, let's uh, start with the uh, comparison. So, here's the nose. On the left side here, we have this is the old Boeing 777 mold that Jim and I used to have before 2016. And I have to say, I do prefer this nose um, because as you can tell here on the right, um, not this is not being picky. I'm just comparing the models. I love all my models. I think they're all really good. But, uh, or you know, just really happy to have all of them. Some of them have um, obvious um, incorrect, or incorrect uh, proportions, like as I'm gonna show you right here. I feel like this nose is just like too pointed like a pencil. It really reminds me of the Delta 738 nose um, on, from 2019 release, how some of them just looked kind of funky on the nose. This is exactly what this reminds me of. Uh, it just slopes really weird. It kind of just looks kind of odd. It looks almost more like a A220, if anybody could see what I'm talking about there. So I decided to get the 2013 a five and the 2020 a four in the nose department. And the fuselage for these two models um, are very good. Uh, they've done a really good job on the mold for that. So I gave them both a five in that department. Okay, so here is the wing and engines. So um, the main difference is, um, I'll bring it in and kind of try to show you if I can in this frame. There we go. So on the 777-200 from 2013, since I'll talk about it when we get to the landing gear in a moment, but since the Landing gear nose is way lower, and this one is 50% too big compared to what's supposed to be like this. This one's on point. Um, it seems like the wings uh, sit more level to the ground and look like they're a little closer, like they're supposed to be. On this variation, as you can tell, it's a little higher due to the landing gear, so it makes the engines um, too tall. So that is not a mold issue. That is simply the landing gear, which we'll talk about in a moment. Besides that, the end or the wings and everything are very nicely detailed. Here's the 2013 detail. Not bad for the time, really. Actually, pretty nice, honestly. Not bad. And then here's the 2020. You know, just um, some simple additions to the details. Uh, under underside looking a lot better than what that 2013 did. Um, but not bad for 2013, that's actually pretty decent. So I decided to give them both a five. Now the gear on these models, uh, for the most part, is pretty good besides that uh, one thing that I'll talk about. Here's the 2013. Uh, they don't roll, obviously, which um, I don't really mind. I think sometimes it works better when they don't roll. Um, Oversimplificating stuff that uh, is definitely something, or over simple, uh, you know, just making things complex when you don't have to sometimes just doesn't work, and I'll show you how it didn't right here. So on this new mold that came out in 2016, they added, uh, or the landing gear, the nose landing gear went from being perfect to 50% too big. Uh, at credit to Aviation 18 for the measurements, but the, uh, sorry, 2013 old mold is six millimeters tall. I know that's probably not good for US. For retrospective, that's like a half centimeter. And then on this one, it is nine millimeters tall or roughly about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 centimeters or eight or, yeah. Yeah, 0.8 or 0.9, and this one was like 0.5 and a half. So obviously that's not um, great, but I mean, it is what it is. These, roll, these wheels are supposed to roll. Um, on mine, they don't really roll that well just from the touch. Uh, the nose wheel does, but these don't. And then uh, as you can tell, this tire is attempting to come off. 
but uh, hopefully it doesn't. Um, I'm gonna see if I can kind of pry it back on there a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's kind of just interesting. These wheels do pivot as well, so there's that if you are interested in that. Uh, so I decided to give it a four just on the 2020, the 2013 to five, just because, sorry, that was the garage. Um, just because this is too tall and that's just one of the main mold defects, it's just not very good in my opinion. The Talon horizontal stabilizer area is very, very, very similar. The only main difference is that the uh, 2020 variant uh, is due to QC. The horizontal stabilizers are a little crooked. It's a lot more prominent on this side as I'll show you right here. Uh, oh, I don't like my planes colliding like that. Uh, as you can tell, it's kind of a little crooked compared to what I think is correct right here. Nice and level compared to a little crooked. Uh, for that reason, I decided to give this one a four again in the 2013 to five. Just, um, I just don't think it's um, on point, obviously. And details for those th both these models, I'll just be completely 100% honest. I'll give you guys a little look, but uh, they're very similar on details, which is kind of sad since obviously this is a 2013 compared to a 2020. Um, so all of these fuselage details underneath, like the only thing that's different is the 777 2s here. And besides that, I mean, it is very similar. Uh, but the one thing I do love about the 2020 is that it has this the Wi-Fi box, which was a great effort and it looks really, really nice in the two antennas. So I thought that was really nicely done. Here's the bottom and as you can tell, just very similar on the details with all these right here, which is not bad. I mean, they did a good job um, getting them all back. And then there's the 772 right there as well. Here's the wing detail uh, through the model. The full review is a massive unboxing nine for this one. The other one I've never reviewed. That was back way back when. But you know, it's not horrible, I suppose. Um, at least it's not a downgrade or anything. Uh, they also, yeah, the horizontal stabilizers are also the same. For both of them, I decided to get in the four. I've just seen better detail integrated through models, but still not horrible, and at least they got some. Now, the color is a big uh, comparison point that I made, um, especially on the 2020 variation. Here's the color difference. Now, this was back in November 2013. The livery was brand new at the time, pretty much, under a year old. Uh, so they had an excuse to kind of mess it up and uh, they were still trying to find the correct color. And on top of that, uh, mine was it out in the sun when I initially got it for about the first three years of its life every day, or you know, just been out a lot. So it's kind of faded compared to what it was back in the day, but as you can tell. And then this one over here on the right side, um, both of them are obviously not the correct shade. This one is obviously kind of just too dim and uh, dark uh, would be the way to put it. This one's just too dark in general. It's not as bad in real life, I'll just be honest. It's not as bad as for sure the A320, but it's not as bad as I anticipated. It's still not absolutely horrible. What I do have to say though is the tails. The tails are both very nicely done and these are really good. I will be honest, this one I think looks better than 2013, but both of them are solid. I will not complain with either of them. As you can tell, they're a little more rich and vibrant in that sense, but I mean, it's fine. They look a lot better. The 787 which wasn't even close on the 2020 just because, I mean, I don't even wanna bring it in to compare. It's so not great in my opinion, but you know, I just thought that they, you know, um, this is kind of a compromise or a little closer to this one compared to the 7 8. Yeah, I'll just bring it in. Okay, so here's the 787 in the back. As you can tell, just not the correct shades. And this is kind of in between mix uh, with everything. Just the blues, so a lot closer. And then this one I think is just on point uh, to the actual livery, which they got it initially every time. And then you have these two comparisons. So kind of an in between, but not horrible. I decided uh, to give this one a three and this one a four. 2013, four and 2023. And then the print was also interesting. I just thought that a couple things stood out. Uh, just how they had the titles, which they're both kind of not the best. This one's a little better, 2020, but they're just not perfect. But what I really noticed about, and this goes for all the new Americans made this year, the registration gray just really looks weird. Um, if I can kind of get that to focus. Yeah, I I know you can't really tell on camera, but just the, the gray looks very weird and not like, um, you know, like not standing out enough. It just looks like the same gray as the fuselage. And that could just be the problem with the color, but um, I just just was kind of underwhelmed by it. So I gave them both the four on printing. Quality control has never been an, ooh, sorry. Quality control has never been an issue on these triple sevens. So both of them get a five. And then finally for the molds, I gave this one a five because it's pretty much perfect. It is the, uh, sorry, a really good representation, triple seven, 200. This one I gave four. 
mainly only because of that landing gear, but also because of the horizontal stabilizer. So, uh, that will do it for today's comparison, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, uh, yeah, the scores. The 2013 received a 46 out of 50 or a 92%, and the right side triple two. Uh, from 2020, got a 42 out of 50 or 84. Both are really good models. If you need 777-200, um, want to have it for a handful of years before they retire them in the future, I highly recommend getting it. Uh, it's not a bad model. It's nothing like the 320. It's honestly pretty good. I mean, the mold obviously has its problems, but I really like the Wi-Fi box and the antenna, which is a big difference point between these two. Besides that, they're fairly similar and uh, honestly, pretty good models. I recommend them. They're really good. Um, overall, I'm, it's kind of a tie for me. Both of them are solid, but um, if I had to pick just because of the Wi-Fi box and antennas and simply just because I guess it's, you know, this one, the color's not just going to blow you out of the water, even though the mold's nice and stuff. But the, oh yeah, and then the nose too. You can't forget about the nose looking kind of odd on this triple two. It's kind of a tie. Maybe just a slight preference for this one, but I can live with either of them. Let me know your preferences and your if you notice anything different between these two models as well in the comment section. I'd be very eager to hear. But my, my name is Roger Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, guys. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Roger Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Roger Aviation is signing off.